from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Yesterday for Thursdays here at the Backyard Tech Channel, Old Mate ended up with a couple of wins. After two out of the three Dell Optiplexes I scored in last Friday's haul came to life. One is going to be the new firewall. The other one, that painful Dell Optiplex 780, ended up with Peppermint 10 on it. Well, for this video, let's work on the third and final Dell Optiplex that I scored in last Friday's haul. Let's make sure it actually, well, comes alive. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Okay, so the third and final Dell Optiplex, and as I said earlier in this week, it ends, it's ended up, I have two Core i5s, which are the, both the 900 series Optiplexes, and the little 780, which is actually an Intel Core 2. As we saw yesterday, I ended up with two wins. One of the Core i5s now has OpenSense on it with 8GB of RAM, and the little Dell 780 has Peppermint 10 on it, surprisingly. Still can't work out why it took Peppermint 10 and no other Linux distro, but hey, I'm happy. It works. That's the only thing I really care about. Okay, so for this one, I want to work on the third and final one. First off, find out if it needs anything, because we haven't powered this one up yet. Find out what it needs. See if it'll accept an operating system. I've already made my mind up what operating system is going onto it. You guys will see that soon. And then we're also going to make sure that it will actually accept the graphics card that's going into that little unit because what is currently the rear pro PC, the Plex server, is going to be put back under the desk and the other Dell Core i5 that I've got sitting over there, which you can see the cameras in front of right there, is going to become the new rear pro PC. But before we go any further, we've got to make sure it comes up because that one we haven't actually tested yet. So let's see what state... It's in. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the other one. Now, we haven't actually had a look at this one yet, but this one here came with one of these cards in it. Now, that looks like a DVI plug, and for those who aren't familiar with these things, it's actually a dual VGA um, card. So you plug one end into that, and you end up with two DB15s coming off the other end. We're not going to need that. Inside, this one's a little different. Now, this is the one I was showing you last night, all right, with the barrel fan or squirrel cage blower on the top. Unfortunately, with this one, everything's under here. RAM, battery, no, sorry, battery's just there, but the RAM's under here. So is the hard drive as well. So everything's underneath here, but what I want to do for this video is actually find out whether or not it's actually going to come up. Um, because I don't actually know. We haven't fired this one up. So, let me bring you up to the plasma. And zoom you in a little bit. And get it all in the frame. I have power. I have a keyboard. So let's see what this one's got in it. If anything. Oh, I haven't got a screen plugged up. Oops. So this is an Optiplex 990 as well. Noisy. Very noisy. Alright. So let's see what we've got in this one. Let me zoom in a little bit and it focuses. So we have 8 gig of RAM on this, DDR3, 4x2 gig sticks, and this is a Core i5-2400 at 3.1 gig. Wow! Holy moly! So this is a um, Core i5-24, geez that's alright, 3.1 gig, 
and it is running at 3.1 gig. Okay. It's not bad, is it? It's reasonable. Okay. Well, we know the... Oh, no, the time's right. No, it's not. It's actually 08. Oh. There we go. Alright. Well, this is not this is alright, isn't it? <coughs> I don't want PXE, because we don't need well you guys can't actually see that, can you? Hang on a minute. There we go. So I don't need PXE. Boot sequence. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's got a Samsung 500 gig hard drive in it, by the looks of it. Oh, I need to change that to AACI, thank you. Not freaking ATA. Okay. Well, let's keep going. So we have. Oh, oh, I haven't actually plugged it, the optical drive back in. So we have a Samsung 500 gig. That's not bad. And it looks like it is a... Oh, that's a full-size hard drive. Okay, it is a full-size hard drive. Okay. All right. Now, uh, where are we going here? Virtualization is on. Okay. Well that's actually um, that's actually fairly reasonable considering. But it does have 8 gig of RAM in it, so it's actually a decent a decent little unit. Core i5 2400V Pro with 8 gig of RAM. Holy moly. Alright, let's see uh, now, I've got to find my USB, and we're going to see whether or not this thing will accept um, the proposed operating system I want to run with it. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's get out of that. Fairly quiet. Uh oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work so well. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. And that's what I was afraid of. It's going straight for Windows, unfortunately. Let me try and reboot it with F12. Very slow to start. Oh, there we go. All right. USB storage device. Let's see what this does. Well, you guys can't see that, can you? Out of range. What? Um Okay. That's weird. Well, let's get back down to here. Let's take everything off the power. I think what I'll do, oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing there. I'm going to take the battery out of this. I'll at least try and get the battery out of it without actually pulling everything to pieces. Well, I think I'm going to have to. Hang on. So, there's CD-ROM. And there's hard... Oh, crud bucket. Now I'm all confused. Um... 
I oh, know, sorry. That's CD-ROM, so that's SATA 3. That's hard drive, which is SATA 1, uh, or SATA 0, whatever you want to call it. I'm just trying to get the battery out of this so I can clear the CMOS settings. I think these Dells are going to be somewhat of a nightmare to deal with. I have a system. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to have to take the, uh, take the fan off, I think, from the front of the screwdriver. I'm hoping the fan comes off. And should come off. So, as we've now seen, I've got trouble with all three of these Dells that I've picked up. They've all been. Does that pop out? Does it? No. They've all been problematic to a point. that one oh boy intrusion switches there uh oh about to lose that damn screw oh hell ha huh. okay I'm gonna have to fish that screw out just trying to get the screws all right so that should now just pop off should it not no oh, it's another freaking screw here all right now it should pop off. That's, I might just leave that screw there for the moment. Oop. All right. So. Let's get this out of the road for a moment. You guys can see the heat sink. So it's sort of, it's very similar to that of what Dell used by default with some of their servers and the like. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try and get the freaking battery out one way or another. Without A, buggering the heat sink up, or B, destroying this thing. See, this black lead that I've got my hand on here, this one here, right, goes all the way underneath the goddamn heat sink. And the problem is, is that I've dropped that screw, which I've now picked up. I know, they say never use a magnetic screwdriver near a computer, but... Sometimes you've got to, unfortunately. Got it. Okay. So there's the battery. So that'll clear the CMOS. All right, well, I'm going to give that about five minutes to drain down. I know they say you can take the battery out for five seconds and put it back in. I'm going to give it a bit longer, okay? So we'll come back in about five minutes or so and... Uh, you can see here that it still says it's out of range. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, all right, we'll be back shortly. All right, well, we're going to put the battery back in. 
whatever errors were there should now have been cleared I hope Let's get let's get all this put back together. It goes over the top. All right. So we're going to make sure we line this up properly. So that it actually sits where it's supposed to. Which I think is going to be easier said than done, everyone. It's because these damn screws are so freaking small. Undoubtedly, someone's going to have a go at me. Oh, you're not wearing a static strap and all this type of stuff. <laughs> I've had that before. People having a go at me. Oh, you're not wearing a static strap. I've never worn a static strap before. I'm only going to put a couple in for the time being guys just to tighten it down okay all right so we'll put everything back in as we should oops as we should sitting right for some reason. <sighs> Why are you not clipping in all of a sudden? You did. You won't now, will you? I wonder if it's because the front's off it. I'll just move these two screws that I've got here away. So all these Dells have had some problem somewhere. Somewhere along the line they've had, you know, a few problems. It just it now won't go in. It might be why. There it goes. All right. So optical drives back in. Batteries back in. We need. up so the BIOS doesn't have a complete tantrum. I need to plug the hard drive back into the blue one. Get the CD-ROM and plug it in, or DVD drive, whatever you want to call it. Someone will have a go, it's not a CD-ROM drive. I know it's not a CD-ROM drive. <laughs> it's amazing how many people pick you up on, you know, little things. You know, little insignificant things, basically. Let me put that back onto there. Whoops. Okay. Now, let me plug everything back up to the back of it again, guys. this back up to the plasma. We'll zoom you on in. I can frame it up right. That'll do it. I'll grab the keyboard again. And 
and let's see what this does. Now, I've got to redo date and time, I know that. Hmm. It's like there's a delay start on this thing. That squirrel cage blower doesn't blow out a lot of air, I've got to tell you. F2. Okay. Going back to the original date and time. 05. Well, it's got the right time though. Alright. Integrated Nick. Hopefully you guys can see that. Serial port on. Okay. USB. Audio. We need the audio. Security. Should be no admin stuff. Which there isn't. Maintenance. Alright. Hang on guys, my mobile phone's vibrating. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so. Before going to plan, uh, the only other thing I need to find out is why is it just the amount of RAM on this, but I don't think I can. Fast boot is minimal. Apply all the changes we've made. few errors, but I'm not worried about that. Clear the log. Alrighty. So what we want to do now is get out of that. go for the reboot when it comes up again 800 by 600 Dell Optiplex 990 one time boot menu USB storage device let's see what this does eh? whoa that's turned off Okay. Out of range. Now oh, there's peppermint, that's not what I want. <laughs> 
gonna have to do this blind, guys. It's out of range. That's interesting. Let's find out what this one does. No, that's Debian. <laughs> Hang on, let me find it and we'll be back. All right, well, this thing is clearly an issue because I can actually, um, I think it's number six. No. This thing's problematic. It does not want to, uh, it does not want to, um, <laughs> it keeps saying it's out of range and I don't understand why. But both, we've had that much trouble with these damn Dell Optiplexes. You'd almost make the assumption that um, it's possible. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it's possible. These may be custom-built machines for whatever they were used for. I mean, this thing's got Windows 10 on it. Um, but I'm just, I'm surprised that I can't... I'm surprised that I can't... You can see, it... It goes straight for out of range. What's the first one? Debian. Um, Alright. Leave it with me, guys. I'm going to do some modifications. Hang on. So, I've just shut down the Plex server. And, uh... I've grabbed the, uh... Graphics card out of it, DVI and composite video. I'm going to, um, I know this doesn't look good, but I don't care at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to bung it into the PCIe slot that's in here, if it'll fit. I tell you what, it's a tight freaking fit, isn't it? Um, so it doesn't want to, doesn't really want to go in. Whoops! Don't break the damn thing. There we go. All right. So I got that in. I'll grab the. DVI lead now for this is what we do, we're just what we're trying to do here is find out if this thing will damn well boot. That's the sixty-four million dollar question. Input DVI. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, thirteen sixty-five by seven sixty-eight. You guys didn't see that, did you? All right. I'm trying to zoom you in so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right. Let's see if we can now boot into it and if it will take it. Because if it does, I'll be I'll be very happy. But what I'm trying to do is <laughs> see if we can get an A system installed. Ah, there it is. All right. So let's uh, let's see what HBX. I'm going to put HBX 2020 from Paul Turner on here. So what I want to do first is just see whether or not it's happy to at least try and boot from the OS, which it is, and boot into the live system. Except I don't think I've got the password for it. Oh damn it! I have to go hunting for it. Obviously, I'm not going to use it on DVI. It'll go onto the rear Pro TV, but I just want to see what this will do. I'm 
and see if it'll see if it'll come up. Because if it does, I'll be I'll be happy. It means that I've got you know. Okay, well there we go. So what I'll do, now we know this will actually take an operating system, finally, <laughs> is um, we will set this up on the rear pro. Oh, now why aren't you going to close? You should be. got no interwebs at the moment. I think it's this light blue leads the one I'm actually looking for. Which it is. And just make sure it's ready to go. It does know the audio's there, I hope. Let's see. We'll soon find out. I don't I think that's right. Well, it'll be a line out anyway. Won't be a. Sorry, there's my face. Hi! <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, Alright. Well, I think what we might do later on, if not today, we might have a bit of a sticky beak at it, uh, possibly tomorrow. And that is uh, getting this little Core i5 set up on the. Uh, if you can see it, maybe. Where is it? No, oh, I've got to go around further. Oh, I can't find it now. <laughs> it's hidden. Uh, there it is. <laughs> that That's about all I can see of the rear pro at the moment, right? That's it. That's the whole thing. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Well, there we go. So we can now set this up as a... Uh, as a uh, little TV or little TV, little computer for the rear pro and uh, we'll get Plex and that all set up uh, all set up for tomorrow so there we go job done alrighty stick around because we're going to be doing the big firewall swap out coming up for you later on uh, today for Fridays have a good one cheers this has been another presentation from Backyard Tech